<laughs> but uh, let's go ahead and you know what we need to do? We need to open up that Choose Your Champion poll. So while I do that, go ahead and break down those lists, Tim. All right. Well, I'm going to start with the, uh, the Empire side because that's the one I'm most familiar with. You've got, starting out here, you've got uh, Sunter Fell, the, uh, the, the ace everyone likes to shoot at. He's got uh, Predator. Gives him some, some re-rolls if he's got that, uh, that bullseye. And we all know Sunter gets that extra focus if he's got someone in the bullseye at the beginning of, of combat as well. So that's nice. Uh, he's got um, a Sigma Squad Ace, the, um, the 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 cloaky ship, you know, the cloaky one. What's it called again? Uh, the Phantom. Yeah, that's the one. Uh, he's got Juke <laughs> no, on that. It's, it's the cloaky. It's the cloaky thing of Majigger. <laughs> the cloaky thing, and he's got Juke, which makes sense because he's going to be getting those uh, evade actions when he uh, does the decloak action. Um, we got my favorite uh, Tie Bomber, Major Rhymer. He plays around with the range on his uh, torps and missiles, um, taking a, a range two. Um, advanced proton torpedoes is never fun. You know what else is not fun? Taking a range zero as proton torpedoes, because you can do that with Rhymer. You can shoot them right in the face at range zero. And uh, cluster missiles, which is nice. And shooting them at range three, also nice. He's got the uh, Cutlass Squad pilot. I love the Punisher. Um, I love to hate it because it dies, but it's got some <laughs> good... Uh, it's got, it's got some good toys to play with. He's got some tracers. He's got some ion missiles. Uh, I, I was afraid at first he didn't bring any bombs with him. I was going to say, what are you doing? But no, he's got those seismics on there. And as as you know, you need to have a you need to have a obstacle close by for a seismic to do any damage, unless you are Boba Fett on the Mandalorian. Then it don't matter. Mm -hmm. And uh, you got the Republic. He's got lots of uh, lots of synergy. That's the way the Republic likes to roll. You got he's got the uh, his ace. He's got uh, Obi Wan um, calibrated laser targeting. He's got that that free um, eyeball result when he's got. Um, when he's got Bullseye, always good. Uh, R4 Astromech to make that dial even better. Um, Sinker in the, in the arc, he, he's going to hand out some uh, some rerolls when uh, when his buds on his side arcs are taking some shots. And he's got that lat, generic lat with, uh, with a wolf pack. So um, more abilities to hand out um, uh, target locks from the wolf pack. He's going to be giving even more rerolls with the uh, fire convergence, which is the the base ability on that on that platform ship. So, and then I think that uh, <laughs> that Bravo flight officer that's just there. I've got some points left. Let's spend it on something. Yep. <laughs> now you know a lot of people, a lot of people looking at these bets. I'm telling you, for for our people who like to wait a little bit for the bets, there is 80 percent right now going towards Scott and this Imperial squad. My question really? to them is: Are they betting? Are are they betting on Sunter Fell? Are they betting on the whole list? I mean, there are are there there are some definite good pieces there, but you got you got to watch out, man. The uh, if you lose Sunter early, that's sad. If Major Rhymer doesn't get off those advanced proton torpedoes, that's also mm -hmm. very sad. We got. Well, you got to look at it. When, when they lose their ace, the respective aces, uh, how good is the, the list still going to be on its own without that li without that ace? And I think the Republic loses Obi-Wan. That's going to hurt. But those those uh, those other ships that are still there, I think will uh, have a lot. Like I said, there's a lot of synergy there. Whereas the Empire, not not as much of that synergy. I think they'll get picked off one by one after after Soon Turdy goes down. Mm, okay. And one kind of like... Not counterintuitive, but a an interesting choice here. The Cutlass taking the Thread Tracers. While it's nice to set up the target locks, I'm curious to see what positions the uh, that, that Scott ends up with the Punisher because it is the lowest initiative ship. What mm -hmm. you cannot do, you don't have the opportunity to set up uh, to set up the target locks with the thread tracers and then do other things that turn. It is a, yep. I target, I get in target locks with my ships now so that my ships can do stuff the following turn. And I'm curious to see if Scott prioritizes the thread tracers or would prefer just, you know, target locking himself and throwing an ion missile that turn. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, a lot of times I'll take target locks for previous turns or for upcoming turns anyway because i want to make mm -hmm. sure i'm focused up as well mm -hmm. but yeah it's it's, that, it's all about that that action the econ uh, economy right mm -hmm. you want to use those target locks as soon as you get them which is it's usually better to have that those thread tracers on a ship with higher um pilot skill than the uh than the other ships in the list 
Yeah, and looking, one of the things, kind of citing what the chat is talking about here, one of the things that people aren't a huge fan of on Lawrence's side is the uh, is the Naboo, that Bravo flight officer. It doesn't have any upgrades on it. It is the cheapest thing in the list, 33 points. It was mostly, mostly as filler. Mm -hmm. And we'll have to see if it ends up doing anything this game because uh, i do agree you know it, it, it's not it's not in a great spot but what no. with with the points that lawrence spent on the other ships what could he have what what could he have put in there for 33 points what other options did he have it would have been a torrent uh a v-wing mm -hmm. of some kind v-wing might, might have been nice Mm -hmm. Um I, I I guess I don't know. I'm I'm rooting for that little uh, that little Naboo fighter. I, I predict he's gonna be the, the hero of the match. Because he's gonna underestimate it. He's not gonna pay attention to it. And all of a sudden it's gonna be flanking him and doing some damage. Oh, and it looks like we are getting into it. Ooh, and our engagement. first engagement here brought to you by Kuat Print Yards. Use that coupon code GSP exclamation point Kuat in the chat. Oh soon tier looking like a chump. Three blanks, what are you doing? Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Really wanted to see that arc roll three dice. <laughs> All righty. No return. Uh, Maze Room in the chat, giving a shout out to everybody here, saying, by the way, Tabletop Simulator was on sale yesterday, 50% off for anybody who's on the fence, so that make, makes, it, makes it come out to 10 bucks. Uh, yeah, for steal. the for, for, for the new year. Yeah, both both times that I bought it, I, I did have to buy it for several, uh, uh, sorry, three times I bought it for the different computers I've had, uh, just because they need to have different accounts for the sh all the shenanigans I do here. Um mm -hmm. I, I paid full price, so get get it now. <laughs> it's fifty percent off. Save so some it. money. If I'm sure there's some lurkers out there, some people who who've been watching us play on TTS for like a year now, and been like, but I don't want fine. <laughs> and, and people might be like, well, sure, I had TTS, I can get TTS, but then who would I play with? I mean, what do you say to those people? You, you tell them to go to the Gold Squadron Discord and go to the looking for game and say, who wants to play and do that? That's what I did. That's what I did. Mm -hmm. I didn't. I didn't play for for about six months after uh, in person play stopped. Yeah, I was like, I gotta get back into this game. Who am I gonna play with? And here I am. Uh, there you go. So soon here, I really like his positioning right now. The only thing that can really chase you is the Arc 170 if it decides to get in there. Yep. He's really being the tip of the spear. I don't. I don't usually see uh, Sunter being played that way. Usually Sunter is 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 crafty being off to the side he's really going up first like here shoot at me but he's doing a good job of approaching him in the non-shooty area of the of the republic list mm -hmm. broad cloak asking me any thoughts on asmodi buying board game arena i've been looking at the articles for that <laughs> um i think it's interesting I have not played on Board Game Arena, so I don't know anything about it. Um, and it is an interesting tool. Like, I think, you know, will they eventually come out with a digital version of X-Wing? Maybe. I know right now, people are, by looking at the articles that I've seen posted, some people are reading it to say that they don't think future or current Asmodi products are going to be put on there. And I, I don't, I just, that, from a business standpoint, that doesn't make sense to me. Like eventually no. you end up using it. It just depends on what properties you have the licensing to have a digital version of. Yeah. So it just it just depends. Like obviously Tabletop Simulator is a community run uh, you know, mod. Nobody gets paid to do it, so they, you know, AMG, FFG, I don't know about the very, very top of Esmodi, but maybe even then. But I would think these are smart people. I'm sure they know this stuff exists. And mm -hmm. unless it directly conflicts with their business, they're not going to do anything about it. Because right now, 
X-Wing is being kept alive with the digital platforms, with Vassal, with Tabletop Simulator. And we're still talking about it. We buy in the models when they're coming out. And it keeps us excited in order to do something. Because right now, they don't have a digital option. Now, if and when they come out with a digital option, that is when you'll probably see them, you know, throw the, the cease and desist and say, all right, time time yep. to these for these things to end, which we'll be sad about. But... You know, they're going to have to do it at a, at a smart point in time. Uh, and to kind of cite a source for that, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that happened with uh, with Gloomhaven and another game of theirs. I think Arkham Terror, Arkham, uh, Arkham, Arkham Horror, Arkham Horror, where there was uh, tabletop simulator versions that kind of disappeared overnight because uh, FFG came out with online versions of them or, or some type of digital version. Again, I'm not 100% on the exact timeline there, but I, I remember seeing some people like upset about it. But I mean, I wouldn't be surprised for that. Yeah, Asmodee's probably thinking of their, their future um, competitive play mm -hmm. community, what they yeah. want to do with online play in the future. So that's, that's what I'm thinking they're doing. They don't want to rely on TTS for their uh, their online um, competitive play. Yep. <laughs> this is this is looking like it's going to be an interesting engagement. Where's Sunter going? Oh goodness! <laughs> in there. Hello. So could could choose to barrel roll out of uh, out of this engagement if he wants barrel roll boost and and call it good. Then he's gonna eat that gas cloud next turn though if he does that. No, he's doing it. Focus barrel roll. Now see, he could have barrel rolled and then boosted and been one hundred percent like fine, but looks like he's gonna prioritize getting a shot. I mean, he'll be able to bank away next turn as well. Does uh, does Sunter have a? Stress token? Yeah, give them a second. They, they, they usually figure it out. They usually figure it out. Yep. Oh, it's unobstructed. Look at it that. It is unobstructed. Range one. Soon tier high fire. Hello. Spend nice, some focus. Nice. Three hits and Oof. a crit. And all three of those in, going in. Three. Pop, pop, pop. Take those shields. Om nom 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 nom. Ooh. All right. Well, Obi-Wan is clipping the corner there, but I mean, yeah. not a not a huge threat. It is only two dice. He's got some force out there. We'll see what happens. Yep. Two on four. He's going to get some rerolls, too, from uh, Sinker. Mm hmm. If he remembers. Um, he's safe there. Wait, isn't, doesn't Sinker have a, a stipulation for. A friendly ship at range one to two in your side arc performs a primary attack and may reroll oh, one attack yeah. die. Yeah, he could missed have. opportunity. Missed opportunity there. He brought Sinker as a uh, as a potential secondary reroll with. Uh, and he would have got a he would have got a hit there too because mm -hmm. uh, he only had one evade. Hit hit crit! Watch Ooh. out! Major Rommer spitting fire, baby. And that was a uh, cluster missile. Yes, cluster missiles extending the range of that to range three. And that yep. means a crit is going to dig in there. What do we get? Damaged engine. Those ARC 170s oh, great. Don't, don't have any, uh, any blue turns. So that means hard turns are red now. And we got half points. All righty. Sinker trying to do something on the way out, firing on Major Reimer. Reimer, good weapon for the Empire, especially mm -hmm. in this type of format. Gets a shine. Normally not good enough of a value, but here, ah, you're fine. One hit only. Spend the focus for two. No. Dis oh, yes, he did. Okay. And going to take a damage. And it's going to take one, yep. Yeah. Uh, Rick A44 says, D, got my package of the backlog cards, sent you an email. Thank you. 
I, I am glad that, that everything arrived. I think I ended up sending that one uh, uh, priority mail just to like make sure it got there. <laughs> He's gonna shoot a tracer at that at that arc. Okay, that means it's gonna set up a lock for Soontir, Rhymer, and the Cutlass if it hits. And with three yeah, he's, hits, he's got it. He's got it. I remember tracers don't do any damage, but uh, sets up sets you up for next turn. So Soontir will get a lock as well as uh, the Punisher. Rhymer's already got one. Locks are good. <laughs> Locks are very good. It's a, it's it's that redo as a kid that you always like. Can I try that again, please? Do over. Fine. Here's a do over. <laughs> and I don't think there's going to be any other shots. Nope. All right. We'll go ahead and remind them. Stress on soon Soon-ter. here. There we go. I mean, let's be honest. Probably was gonna do a blue anyway, but <laughs> but yeah. Well, but which blue is he gonna? Is he gonna fly through that cloud? Possibly take some strain. No, no. He's got the, he's got the two turn all day. You might even have the two bank. Actually, I think you do have the two but bank. Is he, is he going to disengage, though, or is he going to play it safe? Nah, disengage. Take your time. I'm soon to fail. Take a vacation. I, I, yeah, I would, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I would, uh, yeah, just go ahead and disengage. You might get shot. I mean, I guess Obi-Wan can try to chase in the area where you're going to be, but uh, I think it's, it's pr you should be fine. You should be fine. You might also take a back arc shot from Sinker, but that's, of course, if Sinker even lives because the uh, the Sigma and Rhymer are going to get to shoot at it before it's it's time to engage. And how is, how is he doing anyway? He's got four left. Uh, left. Sinker, four? I have four written down here. I want to see. Oh, there's the other card. Yeah, he's got four left. I looked down. I was like, "Oh no, is there a whole upgrade?" No, not again. Oh, no. No, yeah. <laughs> no math. No math. Come on. Not again. I feel like uh, one of the designs I did make. Uh, it's a very, very simple T-shirt design that that's coming out in the uh, in this in the next quarter. Is it's just it's just a giant hole upgrade, just like. Just like the picture of a hole, just yep. for remembrance. <laughs> Commemorative T-shirt. That's right. Whenever you look down at your chest, you remember Dion will forget. <laughs> Dion has trouble with math. That's right. But we, it all works out in the end. It, that's right. Exactly. We figure it out. Right? It takes a village. Yep. yep. That's right. <laughs> Oh man! Well, by the way, um, um, some people have been also asking about when when our galaxies sign ups going up and all that. So let let me give you guys a little bit of a preview of the plan here, the master plan for Gold Squadron. Okay, there are going to be seven. You heard me. Seven different qualifying events leading up into our championship event. Now, because I want to have options in prize design, uh, the championship event is not going to be called Coruscant. It is, uh, it is taking place above another very important planet. Okay, um, and the pin design is amazing, and I love it. So, and that's mostly the reason why we're going with it, and you guys will love it too. Um, <laughs> Earth, no. Nope. Earth not confirmed. <laughs> uh, so super, super excited about that. And then there's also a, there is going to be an eighth opportunity to get into the Galactic Championship that is unable to be, uh, 
I can't divulge that information at this moment. And Easy. that is all. <laughs> but we've learned, you know, with, uh, I will say, I'm excited about, I'm excited about quite a few things. We've learned a lot with the different events that we've put on, uh, all kinds of stuff. KG, look where that, uh, look where that phantom's going. That phantom's saying, I'm an endgame ship. I do not yep. want to be here. Hmm. Did he is he gonna block Rhymer? Rhymer's he's got, gone. He's he has got uh, did he foc he focused, huh? Okay. Yeah. Well yeah oh. maybe. Three turn from the Bravo, take an evade. He wants a piece of Sunter. That's what he wants. He's going for it. Hero of the Republic. <laughs> I mean Rick Rick started off as a Bravo officer, right? There you go. You don't know their name until they do something great. That's right. Big turn here. It's, it's that it's that gas cloud. Takes a strain. We does she does have the uh, that big side arc set up. And Sinker not gonna have any shots. Because uh, I'm pretty sure that the Rhymer, there's no way for Rhymer to get in front of Sinker. But uh, mm. might have the back arc on soon tier. He's thinking about fixing that. No, you can't fix that crit. That is an unfixable crit. Yep. All right. Oh, and bumped. Reimer is bumping there. But I mean, he already has a target lock set up. So not yeah. terrible. He's got uh, a lot of options with his cluster missiles right now. And um, I guess he, he can, can take two shots. He can also fire advanced proton torpedoes. Oh, those, <laughs> those are the best corpse. Yeah. <laughs> if you want to go big fireworks into Sinker, that's my. But that is maybe what we end up seeing because Rhymer, yeah. remember, can extend or decrease the range of any special weapon, missile, uh, or torpedo by one. So watch out. And yes, that means that we can have a range two advanced proton or even a range zero advanced proton torpedo. It hurts. And there's not a lot of uh, ships that can fire at range zero in this game. It's one mm -hmm. of them. Yep, Rhymer's got it. We also uh, Arvel can also yep. fire at range zero. And Anything in the with Rebels with Zeb crew. Zeb, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm laughing. Catherine in the chat says, "Advance Proton into Cutlass. Do it." <laughs> <laughs> Well, in my experience, the Punishers usually do die first, so maybe. <laughs> that is hilarious. Uh, yes, Woody Woo, uh, correct. Oiken as well. Right. All right, we got a little little barrel roll action here, trying to threaten Suntir. Mm. Just barely fit in that barrel roll to the back. I'm not a, not a huge fan, but if Suntir did something crazy, yeah. uh, and Suntir did not do anything crazy, kept it safe. Yeah, no. Still going to take fire from, from the Hero of the Republic down there, but it's probably a range three clear shot. Oh, he's got a barrel roll out of his own. But he put himself into Obi-Wan's arc. Yeah, trade one for another, but then you can boost to the right. Correct, yes. Get out of that one. Bank, barrel roll, shimmy. Get out. Get out. Mm -hmm. And... No, he did uh, not. 
Did not. Just gonna, gonna risk it. Say, you know what? I got the cloud. Yep. Trust in the cloud. That's the cloud. Might also end up taking a shot from Sinker because of not boosting. But we'll end up seeing what happens here. Yep. That's gonna be two hits. So spend the spend the force or focus. He, he's banking okay. on getting at least one in a blank. He's fine. Yeah. We're fine. No problem. No problem. Ace of Legend just roll natties. Next shot coming up, I believe, is Rhymer. Oof. Do we get the advanced proton? Uh, wrong ship. Do it. Do it. He just flipped a. He just just flipped a ion. Wait, I'm confused. What's happening right now? What's going on here? Got hit. Hit. I think he's. There. Did he just flip the wrong charge? He, he's, he, yeah, he, I think he's shooting uh, clusters. I think so too. Yeah, he yeah, just flipped the doing. wrong charge. All right, cool. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Oh, hit hit crit going in. So down to at least one. And then he gets to shoot at either um, Obi Wan or. Or the uh, Naboo fighter with an additional charge. Because they are both in arc and they are both in range. Whiffs. Yep, nothing. That, that hurts. Yep, like not, that. Having any, not having any modifiers on that second shot usually feels pretty bad. Sigma. And what was the other crit that came in? Oh, he's got fuel leak on him. He is... Doesn't matter. He's got one left anyway. Yep. Three hits. Sigma and going that's into gonna, it. That's going to be it. Gone. That's a, that's a dead sinker. Sinker is sunk. You sunk my battleship. <laughs> and true, unfortunately, true that, that. True story here. Yeah, go ahead. As a, as a kid, my uncle played a lot of Battleship with me. He would always win. And I never figured out that he was cheating for years. <laughs> cheating. <laughs> I, I got a visit. I have That's an like my uncle visitor. That... Papa? Yes, baby girl. Here. Who's here? Mm, the, the roses. Oh, your flowers came. Oh. You guess you can open your flowers. Happy yeah. Valentine's Day. <laughs> Surprise, Mommy and Arwen. You're welcome. Go look at them. Go look at them. They're really nice. Did you open yours yet, Mama? Go. Open. <laughs> All right, where are we? We got two oh. two hits going into somebody. <laughs> Just distracted by the flowers. <laughs> <laughs> somebody shot something. All righty. Oh, we got CC oh, visit. There was, oh, they, they, they shot another... Um, A tracer? Uh, tracer, that's what it was. Locking up the lot. All right, we got two hits out there, and bravo! Oh. <laughs> will, will it be a hero through the cloud at Sunterfell? Five dice. I, I doubt it. Yeah, uh, the odds are not great. No. <laughs> okay, he's got two hits coming in. He's got to focus. Hoping a dream. We've seen Suntir just be be bad before. It happens. Yeah. yeah. Five eyeballs coming in right now. <laughs> not, not so no. much. Not so much. All right. For for once, probability works. That's right. Uh, Catherine, I got my wife two dozen roses, and Arwen has got an assorted assorted bouquet. 
Got some lilies, got some tulips. Did you say 2,000 roses? Two dozen, two dozen. <laughs> <laughs> that makes more sense. Two two thousand. <laughs> ah, no, could not afford the uh, the, the two thousand roses. <laughs> <laughs> well, afford. I mean, where would you where would you put them? <laughs> it's, Dude, this is going on the, the uh, on the cutlass. <laughs> yep. So shields down on the cutlass. Oh, it's got one extra shield. Two mm. shields. That's right. That cutlass. Takes yeah, two. It's be beefy boy. <laughs> well, I think there is a uh, for anybody who 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 likes to lurk on YouTube. There is a, a Mr. Beast video from I think last Valentine's Day where he bought like a ridiculous amount of roses. He like filled a whole house with roses. It was pretty uh pretty hilarious. So roses are not cheap. No, they're not. Well, I mean, you know, he he spends like ridiculous amounts of money on the video so it makes sense mm. it's it's a good flex <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> oh man well we uh i'm seeing that there's a there's a strain token on the lat there but it probably should be gone because he he did he was attacked with the uh the thread tracers this is true we will ask them to remove strain Bam. And then tomorrow, what, still we're, the... what we're going to do is, right. as a family, we're going to be making cooking dinner all together is the, is the plan. But I, I had to got those... I, wa I wanted it to be a surprise because wh why would they? Why would they think that rose, that flowers would get delivered while I'm working? Why, why would that happen? Mm -hmm. Anyway, what were we gonna say there? So I'm over here talking about Valentine's Day. No, no, it's, it's, it's the romance, man. It's real. <laughs> you got you gotta you gotta bring it for your, for your your significant others today, right? And tomorrow, it's the whole weekend thing. That's right. I was just I'm just wondering what um, I'm wondering if Sunta is still gonna be back in the fight this next round or if he's gonna. Continue to be cagey. Um, I mean, Soon Tier's job, Soon Tier's job is to like get a couple shots or even just take a shot and then be a distraction for the while to the end game. He's a fantastic end game piece. And uh Scott's priority is just keep him alive. Now he's been he's been flying yeah. him a little faster and looser than I like, I'll be honest. But yeah. but uh but it's worked out. I, I had a little anxiety with that initial uh, engagement when he's right at the front. I was like, oh, God, he's going to die. <laughs> but it worked out for him. Yeah, I, I really like the uh, Empire's positioning right now. He's going to get pinched between Sunter and that Phantom. All right, Phantom. Yep, yep. That's exactly yep. what you just said, man. Tim, he's going. He's going to the bottom here. He's going to create a uh, bit of a kill box. What's in the box? Republic ships <laughs> are in the box. Death. <laughs> Death's in the box. <laughs> that, that Punisher's coming in. Probably got to create a, a bump, maybe on the uh, on the last. Mm -hmm. Obi Wan's flying over a cloud. Ooh, hello. I think Bravo was just changed target priority once piece of the Brimer. Brimer's the uh the thorn in his side right now. That's right. I mean he doesn't have anything that can that can punch hard enough to make it like, I feel like Reimer just kind of flies in and says, I'm just going to hurt you. You're going to kill me eventually, but I think I'm going to do more damage to you uh, and make you hurt more than just taking away my one ship. Yep, that's the way it's been going so far. And even if uh, if the bomber b ends up uh, bumping into, uh, into something, you know, you can still fire those advanced protons at range one. All right, this is interesting. 
And remember, Bravo, um, the Major Rhymer already has... Oh, no, does he not have the target lock set up from the Tracer earlier? Oh, no, that he was does, on... Yeah. No, there should be... There's, there's, a tar, there's a stack of target locks there. Rhymer should be in there. I can't pick it up. Stack. Stack. It's currently on the lat. That's where it is. I mean, he's still, he'll still be yeah. able to get it. Sigma jumping forward. And not able to get the bump. All right. This is this is a little bit of a good, good fortune for Lawrence here. Has an opportunity yeah. to actually shoot both ships into Rhymer if he wants to. Well, he's only got one cluster charge left. So this might be the time we see that Torp come out. Just punch a hole in the side of that lot. And Obi-Wan turns in three ships looking at Rhymer. No strain. No, nope, no strain. And with that focus on Major Rhymer, he has a possibility of throwing a fully modded advanced proton torpedo at the lat. I think I'd do that instead of a cluster missile. Take oh, the five dice shot yeah. while you got it, especially when you have three ships pointed at you. Yeah. Got one charge. Obi-Wan's got a great Obi-Wan's got a great shot though. Soon tier. Took the three turn. Casually barrel rolling in. Probably boost for a shot. I mean, he hasn't mm. been cagey this whole game. Just go in there. Just get some shots. Yeah. Come on. Come on, soon tier. Though the positioning isn't great if you boost, so I get it. So no, it's going to stay no. there. All right, so three dice plus the extra focus because of the, the calibrated laser targeting. So this could hurt. Mm -hmm. Oh, here we go. Yep. That's going to spend so, the force to be hit, hit, crit. So hit, oh, hit, he's crit. Got, he's got fire convergence. Wait. Fire convergence from the from the oh, lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From the lot. Reroll. Reroll. There we go. Here you go. Dump the force. Four make hits. it. Is he not going to spend the force? Come on. Dude, no, oh, no, no. He's got it. He's got it. All right. Hit crit gets pushed through. Thank goodness. Because uh, otherwise, <laughs> he would have gotten nothing. Mm -hmm. And it's a fuel leak out there. Oh, no. Sorry. It is points. a stun pilot. Stun pilot. After you execute maneuver, touch a obstacle. Obstacle's bad. Might not even yep. matter, though, with the number of shots coming in. Major Rhymer, while you're alive, fam. Yep. <laughs> Time for the torp. Here comes. And he did spend that charge. Five dice. Target lock. Focus. Looking for five. Nuke it. Boom. Nuke it. Boom. Ooh, Big was, boom. Uh, yeah. He can he can change one more to a crit. There it is. The, yep. the, hit the right button. Looking for eight. Number eight. Number, Number eight. eight. There we Great. go. <laughs> <laughs> So, and got the, one. Got the one squiggle, but taking some pain here. Shield, shield, double crit. What do we get? Disabled power regulator. Going to be ionized in a couple of turns. And a critical Ooh, direct. Uh, direct hit. Going to be taking an additional damage there. Disabled power regulator. So it's one, two, three, four, five. Those are math skills. That's half points, right? Facts. <laughs> Half of ten is five. Ooh. Now I think Wolf Pack is going to trigger here after a friendly ship at range zero to three defends. If the attacker is in your firing arc, the defender gains one strain to acquire a lock on the attacker. So takes a lock, uh, a strain on the lat in order to get a lock. On to Major Rhymer to try to push through the last addition, the last damage needed to take it off the board. Yep. Uh, on Ry Rhymer, Rhymer has um, has three left.
Mm-hmm. Let's um, go use the target lock of the Phantom. Oh, only going to get two out of that. And that's going to be... Uh, was it range three? No, it was range two. So that's just uh, no, automatically two. two damage. Uh, yeah. No roll there. Down to three hull. Cutlass going to try to make it happen. Though we are at initiative two, so that means the lat will get simultaneous fire. Cutlass yeah, looking to do move. some type of bad crits here. Should remove the strain because he just was attacked. Yeah. They got it. See, they got it. Got it. They got it. Oh, there is a crit oh, out there. He did crit, so you know it's dead. Guaranteed. Oh, sorry, not guaranteed. Uh, got, spe you spend the focus. Spend the focus to live. Spend the focus to live. Oh, my goodness. There, he spends the focus. But if hit, there's another double crit. damage, he did. Hit. And the crit is a wounded pilot. All right, irrelevant. Good. We get to live. He's at least got a target a lock out there. Ion token because he's engaging there. And where is your shot? Take it. There you go. Rhymer is not worth as many points as that battalion pilot, but being able to get some damage in here, it's big. Big money. There we go. All right. No rerolls necessary. I just rolled the natties. Oh, more go. natties. Rhymer <laughs> refuses to die. Takes a crit. What do we get? What's in the box? Whole breach. Irrelevant because he'd be Ooh. dead. He'd be dead. But no, he won't be dead. Those are four cards. No, he's got two, le two left. Two ah, ah, darn it! I must. I had the wrong number on the overlay. Now we're at two. Very, very relevant now. Here we go. Here we go. Hero of the Republic. Finish him off. What, is it? We have tokens. We have tokens down there. He's got a lock. We're rolling two. Looking for one. Looking for one at least. There it is. Ooh. Just not natties. Just not natties. Got him. Down to one. There is a critical crit. coming in here because of whole breach, and it is a structural, structural. damage. Structural. And getting to live on one. Feels bad for Lawrence, but I'm sure Scott Scott's happy about it. Yeah. Oh, he could have used Fire Convergence. Ah, uh, no, it didn't matter. He rerolled both anyway. He had no focus modifiers. We're good. Yeah, he could have held on to that target lock. Oh, look at all that. Be all the beautiful crit tokens behind the uh, the bomber there. <laughs> it's It's smoking. So we got the lat sitting at only one hull. Obi-Wan Kenobi still full. The Bravo flight officer, future ace, <laughs> still full as well. All right. I'd be real worried about that Phantom. It's also still full. Yeah, I mean, it, it is. He's got really two, uh, two really good endgame pieces in Soon Tier and that Phantom. So for anybody who's just joining us, this was a gauntlet, community gauntlet match. If you didn't catch those rules, it was a four-ship budgeted, only four ships allowed. Um, each pilot must be on a different ship type, and you may not spend more than 59 points on any one pilot. Still looking for suggestions on uh, on names for our uh, Gold Squadron secondary channel where we talk about not X-Wing stuff. 
So according according to our biggest supporters, you know they they like the idea, but they want to keep the Gold Squadron, at least the Gold Squadron, uh, you know YouTube and and Twitch to be its own kind of X Wing thing, not combine them. Some people get a little a little confused or upset when they're uh, when they're you know content provider gives them an unexpected curveball. Looking for some uh, some cool suggestions. I got a couple ideas. I'll be I'll be honest. I'll be honest. Not entirely uh, excited about any of them. I haven't found one that I'm like, oh my god, I love this. Well, we'll see. So, what kind of stuff is going to be in this non X Wing channel? I, I mean, basically, I just want a channel to be able to do whatever I want without having to worry about X Wing. <laughs> so, like, <laughs> so it's so knitting. It could be. Yeah, could talk be, about knitting. You're right, knitting for sure. <laughs> one, week one is uh, is knitting. Week two, we'll talk about one division. You know, we just kind of kind of tr trade it around, whatever whatever we feel like. Nice, nice. Yeah, just think about like pop, you know, pop culture stuff. We could even talk about other board games. Um, yeah, it's, it's trying trying to find an outlet for for some of the other ideas I have that don't quite fit, don't quite fit fit Gold Squadron. Oh, that phantom going back to the left. Oh, a little bit of K-turn action out of the Punisher. All right, and we got a three hard. Looking at you, it's Sigma. I'm going for you. Yeah. Mm -mm. so who's up on points at the moment i mean right now scott is aggressively up on points 85 to 23 no and there we go. Big K turn there. 3K by Major Rhymer. I mean, th this turn, position positionally, Scott has been at an advantage throughout the game. Uh, and not, yeah. not surprising that he is aggressively ahead right now. But he's he's really been done a good job of focusing firing on a particular target. Like he focused sinker and sinker died. Now he's doing the same thing to that lap. Obi Wan three left bank. Got a nice bullseye set up there. Under the fence, yep. it might be able to punch through that damage. That Mystic I, I would have liked to. It has got got that set there. Chasing the soon tier trap did hurt Lawrence big time. What were you gonna say there? Sorry yep. about that, Tim. No, I was gonna say uh, it's too bad. I would have liked to have seen him go after Rhymer and finish it off. Taking the focus after the fine tune barrel roll. That is probably what I would have done. Got a great shot there. Oh, oh so dear. Say so, hello. <laughs> hello, my friend. <laughs> Goodbye, lat. It's got one yeah. hole, but hey, you know what? You put it <laughs> you make it burn. <laughs> And if I'm not mistaken, Sunter also has Predator, so not looking good. Yep. So he's got reroll, he's got focus. Get him. Four dice coming in. Range one. 
Only well, problem, Reimer is going to be sad because he's like, "Hey, that was my that was my target." And he is is three dice. Only too few. Should be four dice. He might be firing at Obi Wan. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah that that's where like he's it. going. Oh, hello. Spend the focus to avoid the damage there on Obi Wan. All right, so he's not taking Rhymer's fun. It's probably actually you know what that was probably a good call because then Rhymer would be sit there with no good shots, and that's probably that was a good call, I think. Yep. I mean, target priority. Spends the force to get the focus back. I. Mm. I'm not a huge fan of it. I mean, I know that you're 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 feeling pretty good about pushing through the one damage from Rhymer onto the lat. But man, we've seen some people get punished for being greedy and switching up targets like that. But I mean, you've seen me also make the same decision where you decide, you know what? I'm for sure going to get this shot. Hopefully. <laughs> Let me you, you switch targets I, with this higher PS ship. I probably would have taken the shot with Sunter into uh, into the lat, the range one. I, mm. That's too hard to resist for me. All right, so he's got to get some rerolls from the from the lat there. And hit right. crit. Looking at the phantom, uh, he probably just takes a shield. Yep, phantoms. Phantoms yep. are always willing to give away a shield. Yep. Can I have your evade? No, take a shield. No. <laughs> <laughs> Major he wants Reimer? that. He wants that cloak. Yeah, exactly. I think he's probably also going to end up going at the uh, at Obi Wan or no? Let's see. No, I think this is the range one shot into the lat here. Yep. So this will finish him off. That's all you need. The defiant evade at the end. Yeah. <laughs> You didn't hit me with all your blaster bolts. <laughs> <laughs> Looking on the bright side, at least he is not going to be ionized next turn. It's true. Punisher through the through the rock here. Oh, double crits. Hello. Obi-Wan's feeling confident, but, you know, that's still scary. And no. A little bit, yeah. And Scott is pretty aggressively ahead here. 111 to 23. Range 2. On to the Phantom. Trying to... Rip through the focus evade. It's unlikely, but you gotta try. Double crits again. Look at that. The Republic looking accurate right now. Oh, <laughs> oh. Uh, scoop to dupe. Get out of the way. We're fine. How are you? Yep. And he managed to hold on to that evade, so he gets his uh, his free cloak now. This is why I'm pretty sure he wanted to hold on to it. Mm -hmm. Smart call. Here's a super random question for the chat, because I know what I'm doing after I'm done streaming today. My question is, does anybody else still have their Christmas decorations up? It's February 13th. <laughs> I do. All right. And we're taking them down yep. today. We're taking them down today. Mm -hmm. Please let me feel like I'm not now, the only one. Are you talking about inside or outside decorations? Uh, inside. Inside. Okay, yeah, my inside ones have been down for a long time. Outside, they're they're frozen in place. I can't move them yet, so they're still there. <laughs> <laughs> Some say covered in snow. I got I got a couple. Got a couple people say yeah. My tree's still yeah. My tree's still up too. That it's going it's going down today. <laughs> but like we'll probably we usually have string lights in different parts of the house just because we like the way they look. So those stay up. All the time, but like the wreaths and the evergreen stuff that goes down. Yeah, we'll definitely still have some. Uh, I don't know. Will we? Will we have any winter themed stuff up? I know. I think my daughter and my wife they're putting up the uh, St. Patrick's Day stuff right now. But 
But yeah. I take them down Christmas Day. Oh, that's so sad. It's too early. My my tree is usually down before uh, before New Year's. I like to get it away. Yeah, but I mean, you know, I'm also. <laughs> I mean, for those of you who 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 heard early, um, I am the person I put up my Christmas tree the day after Halloween, November first. <laughs> November first, my I tree goes my, up every year. My tree's up. My tree's up in November at some point too. Yeah. Yep. Have Mardi Gras decorations up. Cool, cool. I like it. Nice. And for outdoor decorations, we usually just do lights. Actually, I didn't put up any outdoor decorations this year. Um, so, just because time. We just did the inside. So, no big deal. And usually, if the lights stay on outside, it's not a big deal. Because they're just like wintry lights. There you go. Oh, that's cool. Uh, MRD Eva or uh, Mr. Devera says, we just have a holiday tree. It stays up all year and we change the theme. That's cool. I like that idea. I've heard of that before. Yeah, that's neat. Either really creative or just lazy. Or or creatively lazy. I like it. <laughs> Ooh, aggressive decloak action. That's just getting in it. Blocking them up. Yep. Yeah, using the decloak as a blocking maneuver is uh, is something yeah, that great. newer players don't usually think of. Usually, just think about like you know trying to get to the spot you want to. But man, mm -hmm. tactically, it is a great tool. Yep. Bravo, saying no, 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 no. I don't want to. I don't want to play. Head heading back to Naboo. <laughs> yeah. And Max in the chat saying intuitive controls are great for ETAs, uh, also great for blocking. Agreed. Yep. It's a mini decloak. It feels bad, too, when you have a, a higher skill pilot blocking a lower skill pilot, and then he gets to do his move. It's, ouch. I don't like it. Sigma, one bank. Trying to see if it catch something in the uh, catch something in the net. Oh, look at this! Is so aggressive, saying I don't want Obi Wan <laughs> to shoot me. Well, he's trying to set up a block for Sunter to come up and uh, just pelt him from behind. Mm hmm. And Rhymer two probably sets up a block here. I'm guessing. Yep. Yeah. The Rhymer doesn't have any ordnance left. Oh no, he's got one uh, cluster left. One cluster missile. So if it's range two, he'll have a three dice. And if not, you just go with the primary and have a mod out there. Yeah. I, I was hoping for for a reload action. Get that. Get that. Uh, torpedo. Oh no! no. <laughs> right in front of Phantom. So I feel like Lawrence anticipated these, uh, anticipated the blocks here. So showing some mm -hmm. good ideas for positioning, uh, but man, just biting the on the bait of Soontir early just hurt him, and which just put him behind. Oh, I yeah. got the chat uh, tearing me up for saying ETA. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Etta. Yeah. How do you how Etta. do you, how do you even pronounce this? Etta. 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 I don't know. I, I'll refer to my audio books. I'll try to find uh, find a uh, one of the books that has a name in it and see see how they pronounce it. These these are not fun names to say in the Republic. You got the Edda and the Lat and the you know like come on. Someone fell asleep and they're naming these things. But he he's debating his life choices. Oh yeah. He's gonna, he's gonna take out. Okay, he's gonna take a fine tune boost. Let's get a little bit of distance. Yes. Yeah. And takes a focus.
Ooh, super aggressive. There he comes. Oh, oh yeah. Do, 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 do. Range two. Here we go. You got two shots in the Obi Wan. You take them. See if you can get some. Get get that yep. half points. Well, he wants to strip that that focus so that the uh, the juke co shot coming from the Phantom will uh, will hurt him. Mm hmm. Might be able to do it. That's right. Focus for three right there. Okay. No no strip focus, but a damage. Shield down. The hole is exposed. Get him, Phantom. Get him. And oh. no modifiers there, so just one. Should be fine Just here. one. Juke it. Juke it. <laughs> <laughs> because you can. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> And the Cutlass just barely has an obstructed range three on the Bravo. Reach out and touch him. One hit. No. That evade token, so. Yeah, he's fine. Needs it. <laughs> A little bit more of uh, insights into Dion's life here. The the phrase "reach out and touch you" comes from my uh, my mother. I love my mother very much. I need to preface before I say this, but uh, in my household, spanking was a thing. Okay, <laughs> so um, when I was growing up, so uh, that was often a, a threat. It it was you better stop whatever it is you're doing, otherwise. I'm gonna reach out and touch you, and it's like, oh, oh, up, back it up, back it up, back it up. I'm, I'm sure, I'm sure AT and T appreciates that extra uh, plug because that, that was AT and T's uh, old slogan: "Reach out and touch someone." Really? I believe it was AT and T, one of the telephone companies. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, the, I, I I don't know it from that. I I know it from. <laughs> <laughs> from from the the uh, the strong Puerto Rican woman who <laughs> who raised me. That's how I know the slogan. <laughs> yeah. So that's that, that's that's how I know it. Though, uh, in 2021, uh, that the phrase does sound a little odd now, but whatever. It's fine. When telephones were common back in the day, yeah, house yep. phones. Interesting. I feel, you know what? We're going to put a poll up. We're going to put up. I'm curious now. Who still has a house phone? Yeah, I still got one. I hardly use it. You know what? The house phone is just for uh, tele telemarketers to be able to call me. <laughs> There you go. This is this is just for my curiosity. Do you still have a house phone? I want to know if anyone has a corded house phone. You know, oh you my an actual God. cord on it. You know, guaranteed not to lose the handset. True. That's true. <laughs> I'm old enough to remember the, the rotary dialers. You know, you put your finger in, you go. Dunk, 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 dunk. Oh, yeah. We, we had one around. of those for a while. Yep. We had one of those growing up for a little bit. You would always hate the people that had zeros in their number because it took so long. The zero was the furthest dial that you had to make. It took, would take so long for the dial to get back. Problems we had back then, I tell you. Uh, one for yes, two for no. <laughs> So people are like, technically, I guess I'm a yes. I guess the answer would be if 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 it's plugged in. And I saw somebody talking about how Comcast for the maximum discount, you you have a phone line attached to it. I would say if your yep. phone isn't plugged into that, uh, then your answer would be a no, because realistically, you're living with no.
I was wondering when those seismics were going to come out. Here we go. There you go. I love so he, might be, he might be threatening, threatening his own ships more, but I guess if he's in range of the gas cloud as well, you could end up just blowing up that one if that's more advantageous. Hey, if, as, as someone that runs a lot of bombers, if you're not willing to hit your own ship sometimes, you're not doing it right. Mm -hmm. And there's the Phantom popping up to the top of the board, staying away from the potential obstacles blowing up and in pursuit of that Bravo. And the way the Empire is sitting right now, they can afford to take a couple of friendly fire hits. Cut list probably uh, just boosts in there. Getting a little bit of extra room is leaving. Yep. That scimitar in a good spot right now. It's trying to be threatened by the Bravo, but I'm not sure that's going to reach from range three. The Bravo also may be trying to catch Soontir in the lane, but I, I doubt Soontir is going down there. Oh. Rhymer's Soontir. coming. It has a lock out there already. Oh. Did, did Reimer not take an action? Or did he put... Um, not that I saw, no. He may have... What could he have done? If he has range on that gas cloud with that uh, seismic, mm -hmm. still going to catch Obi Wan. Oh, he switched lock targets. That's what it was. You just slide that over. Thank you so much. Oh, OLS. I see. Yeah. Oh, soon tier. Okay. You know what? I, why are we surprised? He's been he's been flying by the seat of his pants this whole game. Yeah, <laughs> I'll take a damage. That would be good. Yeah. Oh my. Well, no, he won't. <laughs> He won't take a damage if he sets off that gas cloud, right? That's right. If he's got range to it, I think he does. I'm pretty sure he does. But, but for that, the, that's when you drop. the commentary, I gotta pretend like I don't think it is. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nah, he's got it. All right. Yeah, look at that. Nice. So you make the cloud go uh, blow up. I almost said glow up. Um, oh, just out. Just out. <sighs> no, Obi. So good threat, stuff. just out of range there from a potential target. Yeah, Soon tier might actually take a damage this turn. He's going to get a focus from his ability because he has Obi Wan in the bullseye. And a predator reroll as well. They do have to remove that uh, gas cloud. Mm -hmm. Predator. So predator reroll. Spend the focus. Or is he gonna keep it? I'd probably keep it at this point. Yeah, just a crit. Oh, Dog, Obi it. Wan. Did he have? A, he had a force. Yeah. Being forced to spend that though feels bad. Feels bad. Now he's yeah, out of does, force. Yeah. No weapons again soon here. Yeah, because yeah, the laser targeting will will probably proc, but he has no modifiers to make it worth anything. Obi Wan, and it'll be two dice and then a focus out there. But again, like you said, the focus yeah. not going to matter. He's actually oh, going he's shooting, downtown. Shooting Reimer. Yep. Here you go. Just needs to land one. Because of structural damage out there. Yep. Uh, one. It's one. 
No Let's focus. See it. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Not able to take Reimer off the board. I like that oh. thought, though. That was a heads-up play, especially with Reimer only having one hole left. Yep. All right. Reimer saying, hey, I got to live. Let's go. <laughs> this is just going to be a regular range one shot. I'm, I'm all sure of that. There's no need no, to... No sense in... I was going to spend it anyway. Oh, okay. Why? Am I missing something? I don't, I don't, I don't get it's, it either. Might just be a mistake. Nope. He's like, wait a second. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's no advantage. He likes either way. Yeah, he doesn't have another ship to fire at. No, doesn't oh. even need the lock. He did crit looking at that Bravo flight officer. And that officer is taken two. Shields are down. One away from half there. And this could be it for him. Big range Is one shot coming from the Phantom. Spend the focus for hit it, crit. No, and he's going to be able to. Go ahead. Oop. He's going to be able to juke away uh, one of his evades, too. Yep, because he has no focus modifiers. Juke! Yep, he's juke taking all dead. that. Juke him. Juke him. Juke, 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 juke. There it is. All right, they're doing it. Oh, that's a that's a that's a that's a dead bravo. One forty four to twenty three. Obi Wan Kenobi versus the entire Empire. This sounds like a movie that we're familiar with. <laughs> it's probably gonna be final round. We got two minutes left on the on the clock there. I mean, either way, this is probably final round. Mm hmm. And there are the F's in the chat. <laughs> now we're going to have one more game for you guys left of the Community Gauntlet. One more list building challenge for our two competitors. I will tell you, I, I have a lot of fun making these community list building challenges. Looking forward to getting stuff done. Seeing what we get. No, it doesn't matter much, but yeah, still got to remove that gas cloud. <laughs> now, no, it matters. Now, soon tier can hard three right through that spot. If I was soon tier, I would probably want to do a, a three seniors loop to the left. It's Baffle coming up next says, I'm hoping to break my pattern of losing every stream game. You know what? You know what we call you, Chase? Call you Mr. Consistent. That's fine. <laughs> 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 oh, and there, there's Daniel. <laughs> he says hashtag same team. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, you uh, you you throw enough at a wall, some of it sticks. All right, you you'll find a win. It's time. And that is going to be it. Last planning phase. There is the decloak. And we are we are forming a uh, a kill box here around where Obi-Wan Probably is going. Are we going to see a soon tier K turn? Is he stressed? You almost He's never not. see it. You almost never see it. But I kind of want to. I kind of want to see it. I think. I think he should do a senior's loop. He's, he's got that on that dial. Yeah. There you go. Look at this second edition toy I have. We. Mm -hmm.
All right, Obi Wan, one bank. Get out of there. <laughs> Accepting Get fate. Get out of there, Obi Wan. Fam, all you're looking for is natties right now. Choosing violence. Target lock. <laughs> I what? love it. What is this? Like, no, I'm going to kill that ship. Mama, that's the ship I have in my dreams. I want to get rid of it. My nightmare. It is a range one shot. Range one. Three dice. Target lock and I think a one force. Yes, one force. Oh, hello. Just spend the force. Just call it, man. Just get him. Oh, he got structural damage. He's guaranteed dead. And no, yeah, no matter what. It's dead, fine. Yeah. No need to do it. Rhymer, MVP of the game. Off the board. Will Obi-Wan survive Order 66? I took a direct hit on the way out, by the way, on Rhymer. And with the whole breach, he actually had uh, double direct hits. Yeah. <laughs> Triple direct <laughs> hits. I'm sorry. Triple direct Oof. hits. So Major Rhymer goes down in a big way. He did his job. That's right. In a big way. The last shot of the game. Oh, he doesn't have any force left, or does, does he? Not, yes, he yeah. does. He has one. He has one. Okay. It still takes one, though, so that's going to be half points. It is a crit. Yeah, panic irrelevant. pilot. I mean, that seems thematic to the, mo yeah. to the moment. <laughs> I, I would panic. So we'll go ahead and get that half points off of Obi-Wan. G... G. Thanks for playing. Exclamation point. I did not spell that.